I look dusty and I sound rusty because I am a little sick right now. But I really wanted to do this budget portion of the video right now because I've been waiting on this for so long. I realized probably like a couple weeks ago, I need to restructure my budget, like everything about it. And I'm ready to start like sharing that online. So we're really going to get into some stuff today. All right, I made almost five grand from my job. And I also got my tax refund back as well as I got refunded for my old iPhone that I sent in when I bought a new one. So almost 6K in income, which is like super great. I made two grand more than I thought I would. However, I spent a lot more than I thought I would. So before I even think about what I'm gonna put in the savings, because I don't think I could put anything in the savings considering I just have to pull out of my savings. I did spend $50 on quarters. That is basically a fixed income. On gas, I spent $124.41. A little bit more than what I want to. And I keep doing the fucking formulas backwards. Like, what? So the difference is about $25, give or take. Groceries. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so four seventy three eighteen in groceries. About one twenty five over. Fast food, wow. That is new. Okay, I did ninety one ninety five. Have I always done that good in fast food? Maybe I have. Food delivery not as much over as it could have been. I did a little bit better this month than I usually do. 128.73 on food delivery. Restaurants, I know I bought us Olive Garden one day, but it's still within the budget because it used to be 50, but like if you go to a restaurant one time, you're probably spending more than $50. It's always just like a little bit over. If you're buying for two people, so I'm making that budget 75. My kryptonite this time just happened to be closed. Then I spent zero on books, and then I spent zero on inventory. I did not spend zero on inventory. I just have no clue where it got charged to. I can't with myself. I also spent 111.76 on gaming, which was all like Sims expansion packs. I spent $12 at the car wash, only got it done one time. And then for necessities, I spent um, $93 on an oil change, plus I spent $10 to get into Ryan's powerlifting meet. I would call those boat necessities. Um, what is this coming out to? 103. Alright, let's leave it at this. So, this has been a terrible <laughs> month on spending for me, and I was doing really good in the beginning. And in the end, when I realized that I'm gonna need to start a new budget. I'm gonna need to take it way more seriously. That's when I was kind of like, okay, wait, let's just go balls to the walls because next month we'll be serious. And I feel like I do that a lot. With that being said, let's make a copy of this and make April's budget. So I would like to do the 50, 30, 20 rule. I think mine should be flipped around since I actually do not spend that much money on needs. I've come to the executive decision that I'm not going to be sharing my long-term financial goals, at least right now, because it's too scary and the numbers are too big. But I'm going to do a little bit of a calculation to see how much I would like to be saving idealistically. Hey, that's actually pretty freaking close to exactly what I want. Like I said, my needs wouldn't be the 50 in my 50, 30, 20 rule because the way my relationship is, my boyfriend takes the bulk of the needs and I'm working on my savings. So this is like perfect for my situation. What I'm gonna have to aim for is, first of all, reducing my subscriptions a lot. In fast food, there are so many days where, even though my company provides this lunch and I'm the one that chooses the lunches so I can get whatever I want technically. Um, I don't like what we get usually. I don't like 
because I have everything on a, a schedule and I don't want to change it anymore. When you eat Olive Garden every single Monday, you don't want to eat Olive Garden anymore. I'm like, don't get me wrong, I love pasta, but like pasta that got delivered and oh my god, just having pasta like every single Monday, it starts to get gross. It starts to make you feel fat. So <laughs> my solution is go and get Taco Bell instead. So yeah. I do usually go get fast food on like Mondays and some Fridays, depending on what we get for Fridays. I'll start trying to make my own lunches too. Like I'll bring a sandwich or something. I need to keep like bologna on stock here. All right, I'm trying not to do too much tonight, but I do want to go through my goals and my follower counts. This is supposed to be records. Um, this is like gonna be a very big like hit or miss one i got like halfway through on all of my work stuff i feel like i'm way closer than i was before but i'm definitely not there yet my paperwork i'm still really really behind on but like the records i'm i'm getting up there but i'm not there um daily vlog reels and tiktoks um so i was trying to do march madness um I took March Madness off of this list. Originally, it was on here as a goal, and I was just like, no. But the thing is, like, I wanted to post those vlog style ones every single day. I didn't do that, but I feel like I did post a TikTok almost every day. Reels a little bit less, but I definitely did way better than I literally ever have on Reels and TikToks. So there's that. <laughs> I didn't post three main channel videos. I only posted my March reset, and then I didn't do anything else. Um, <coughs> not looking too good here, Chief. Um, five gaming channel videos, I believe. Yeah, I'm at nine. That's pretty good, nine for the month. 100 subscribers on my main channel, that is a no-go. We'll talk about that later. And 45 on main channel, also a no-go. Didn't get it for Instagram. I did get it for TikTok. Didn't get it for my other TikTok. Bench 75 pounds, I haven't tried, probably can't, I have, have not run a nine mile pace, what was I on? Um, complete my 30 day challenge, oh, that was March Madness, no, I didn't do that. Remove most of the blackheads from my nose, I'd say that's a no go, and I don't know why I was talking about my nose, I guess because I was doing the strips, but I got most of them off my chin and a lot of them off of like right here. I haven't started to really tackle my nose, so it's just like interesting that that's the one that I put. Cause like that's like the area I haven't touched yet. Dude, apparently this is just a bad month. Like I didn't build any of my furniture. I didn't keep all of my receipts. And I didn't clean most of the apartment. Like I thought I would get more than just two out of all of these. I've been glancing at this every once in a while. But I wouldn't like let myself fully read them and process if I got them or not. Because I wanted it to like be a surprise when I looked at it. I thought I was doing way better than this, so that's hilarious. On a good note though, I did get so much closer than I ever could have imagined. And I, I have realized that reaching for the stars will get you closer to the sky. It doesn't mean you're gonna hit the stars, but I think it's more effective to aim higher. At least now, that's what I'm getting at. I don't know if that's always worked for me in the past, but it is now. I also got a lot of goals that weren't necessarily pertinent to this. Um, I got a bonus and a raise. Saw my first video get 200 views. Attended a powerlifting meet. I didn't compete, but I was there. Actually, yesterday, I feel like this one's good. Um, went out with my coworkers alone. They're not necessarily co-workers I'm super comfortable around, so that was nice. Now, for April goals. I was actually intelligent this time and started mildly forming a list. Now, do I think that I have a full list? No, but I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about one of the things I just did. Um, follow my budget and keep track of all expenses. Also going back to some of the other money stuff, cancel a necessary, I can't spell that word. Subscriptions, we're gonna do 750 TikTok followers. And then still gonna aim for 500 Instagram followers. 
I think 50 gaming channel. The other ones I'm backing off on. I think these I can really maintain that consistency to get where I need to go. For work, it's still gonna be the paperwork. That is like the only thing I care about right now. And then I think these don't need to be home. These are other. Set up my desk for switch recording before Tears of the Kingdom. Because Tears of the Kingdom releases in May, May 12th. I want to be ready to either film it or stream it when it's out. And I don't want to be dealing with that. Something else I've said like a million times. I'm not going to worry about building all of the furniture. But definitely build my vanity. I feel like my focus should be on like that side of the house. With the bedroom and the closet. Because like that's where I'm excelling at. <laughs> One of the things I haven't been doing is adding to this as the month goes on. Maybe I should consider doing that. But I seriously think I'm trying to take on too many things. Like, I want to shoot for the stars, but I need to shoot for the stars in just a few areas. Not every area ever. So, lastly for tonight, I'm going to do my follower trackers. Alright, so trackers. I'm pretty sure for my main YouTube, it stayed the same. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you only have 10 videos and you haven't uploaded for a month. But dude, my videos are actually doing pretty fucking great considering I barely upload. If I upload on this channel, I think, like, I could really get somewhere, you know? I just need to do it more often. Watch time barely went up, but it still did 251.4. Views are 13.2k. For the gaming channel, look, I went up six subscribers i thought it was a little bit more than that but you know what i'm okay with that six is pretty good in like 30 days 31 days oh i still wish it was better though okay 1.9 k views and 80.7 watch hours i still thought i was doing way better than that i don't know and it looks like i did better on instagram than i thought i did because this is a pretty big jump 486 for TikTok. We are at 520 now. Look at that jump. That one's pretty good. I mean, when you're this small, like jumps like that are exciting. And gaming TikTok only went up three. Ooh, what? And then 18.8 K likes. And Twitch should be the same. And yet, I got a follower four days ago. I saw that earlier on OBS and I was like what the hell still zero average viewers because I literally like haven't been on there this is pretty much opposite of what I thought the results were gonna be like I don't know I thought I did better in my gaming YouTube channel like a lot better like YouTube has gone up like 14 since the beginning of the year but in three months only 14 and I know it's a big jump when you're small but I don't know I feel like I need to get a banger or else I'm gonna get completely demotivated with it Instagram like barely seen progress like 42 TikTok I guess overall hasn't grown that much but the jump from the last month has been pretty good I didn't expect to walk away from all three of these being like yo what the hell happened here like budget absolutely a wall I'm literally gonna get overdraft fees now and my car is gonna start getting declined again I only hit two of my goals and my trackers are pretty bad like yeah I'm about to walk away from this feeling mildly icky but I guess that's how it be sometimes <laughs> all right see you tomorrow I guess okay so last part of this we're gonna talk about the monthly favorites and next month's wish list so first and foremost what I was listening to Still a lot of XG and a lot more Nefex. And I'm back on my Drake vibes again. And little Wayne, I mean all the time, but I don't know. It's like I go back and forth like every other month. I go 
very hardcore on them. As for TV, I watched a lot of TV in March, like way too much. The only thing that I finished entirely was Perfect Match. I think it was like the first week of March that they finished releasing the last few episodes, so I finished that up. I watched a bit more of Physical 100, I still haven't finished it yet. I'm super slow when it comes to Korean shows, unless at Singles Inferno. Love is Blind, I'm like mildly caught up to, I think I have like two more episodes, but the episodes were literally just released like two days ago. So essentially I'm caught up on the new season. <laughs> Anytime they release something new, I'm on it. Watched a little bit of Outer Banks, not finished it, and I'm probably gonna be slow on it because Outer Banks isn't one of my favorite shows. I like it, but I'm like, eh, about it. And then I started watching Next in Fashion, I wanna say like a month ago. I haven't started the new season, I'm still in the first season, but I found it interesting that they released a new season when I just started watching it. I feel like it's like an older show, I don't know. Still reading A Court of Silver Flames in Atomic Habits. <clears throat> I do have to say though, although I've been reading A Court of Silver Flames for like half a year now, I made like a ton of progress. I think I was at like 15, 20% at the start of this month and now I'm at 50%. I just like really thought about it. I'm like, do I want to DNF this? Like I really don't. So let's get it going, girl. <laughs> I'm like changing it up with the way I'm reading now. Like I think I really want to get back into it like super seriously. I updated my story graph. So like I'm really going to be on that shit and like updating it as I read pages and like officially putting the date I start, officially putting the day I finish it giving it a full rating, all of that. And that really hyped me up. That really made me feel like, oh, I wanna take this a little bit more seriously. Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy that I'm at least getting through it a little bit. And for games, I've been really heavy on choices. Don't know what's going on with me, but I'm like obsessed. I, I don't know, I just like have to really be on like, every single book, like I'm giving every single book a full chance. I'm giving every single book all of my heart as much as I could possibly give it. I don't know, it's ridiculous, but as someone who played it like a long time ago and who still thinks about it a lot, very weirdly and I'm like, oh, like whatever happened with that person? Like what was the diamond choice for that? I just think about it a lot. So I'm like, I'm gonna get it all out of my system, make sure I read like every single book and then once I'm like through everything, hopefully I don't play it as obsessively. <laughs> but I have to go through every book first. So like, I'm just really honing in on that. When I could be reading actual books, I'm reading that because I'm trying to get through them at the speed of light. Also, I'm playing a lot of Disney Dream Night Valley, that is usual. And a mild bit of Genshin still, but it's mostly been choices in Disney Dream Night Valley. This probably doesn't count like super seriously, but um, there's a Discord bot that I play in. It's a K-pop photo card collecting bot. And there's like this huge Valentine's Day event. Yes, in March. Um, I've been obsessed. I've been on Discord for like seven hours a day. As for what I wanna get into in April. So I know I'm gonna end up finishing Love is Blind once all the episodes are released. I'm just gonna like watch it as they come. I don't really feel compelled to watch anything else. Like if I do, then I do, but I don't have anything on my wish list. I don't dream of watching anything. Unless one of my dating reality shows comes out. That's the only things I'm like, yes, give me that shit. Give me that shit over and over and over again. I'm gonna eat it up every single time. As for books, this should be obvious. I want to finish The Court of Silver Flames. I like, I like it now. It's just gonna be a matter of how fast can I read it. I would say at the like longest possible time I'll take, it'll be like three more months. As for games, I still want to play Choices because I want to get through every single book in there. Very serious about this. Definitely still focusing on Disney Dream at Valley because I am in my speed build era. My speed builds are performing really well in comparison to everything else on my gaming channel. So I'm going to keep that up, especially with a new update coming up. I'm like, girl, you got to get on that shit. So I am grinding on that game until there's nothing else to grind out. I'm pretty close to 
pretty much doing everything I possibly do in the game. And hear me out, I want to get back into Minecraft, seriously, and I want to stop being intimidated by the entire thing and the fact that all these big YouTubers have like their huge ass worlds that are just gorgeous. <sighs> it's gonna be so hard to get over that like insecurity, but that's like a really big goal of mine, which is why. I want to play it more because if I don't play it, I can't get over that. But yeah, anyways, those are my favorites. I have a few more things I do need to do for my reset, but it's 8 p.m. on April 2nd on a Sunday. I have work tomorrow, so I need to get this edited up. <laughs> Hopefully I could post this by the 3rd. The latest, it's going to be like the 4th. Your girl reached for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this format a little bit more. I think this is where I really want to continue. I think this leaves all the important stuff in, but kind of takes out some of that fluff that I wasn't liking as much. Yeah, looks like it only took me like three months to figure out the formatting. There's gonna be like stylistic changes. Like I'm sure like this setup isn't the best. The lighting isn't the best, but like we're gonna work on it until next month, just in case I don't film or post anything else. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you in May. Bye!